All right, so now that we're done with the jobs functionality, we need to implement the user functionality. All right, so first thing we need to do is create the user's controller. So we want to go to controller, new file, and you want to make sure that you name it users controller dot php. Okay, so we're going to say class. Oh, first, we have to define our PHP tags. Class user controller, and it's going to extend app controller. Uh, actually, it should be users. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to say uh, public name is going to equal users. All right, so we want to um, work on our registration first. So I want to create the view. If I go to view, uh, I'm going to have to create a new folder here called users okay and I'm going to create a new file called register.ctp so test and we need to create our function in the controller All right, so we've added register. Okay. So now we want to get our registration form from our HTML template. So I'm going to get from Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the form helper instead of the, the, the HTML. So let's go ahead and copy the jobs, the add form. Let me just close these out. Okay, and then I'm going to paste it in register. And we're going to replace this with user. The heading will say create an account um, we'll have first name last name remember these should be the same as your database uh, column names okay next we'll have email and I want to make this a type of I want to make it email instead of text, so we're going to keep this here and just say email. Okay, next, um, username. Username, we need password. Same thing, this should have a type of password. And we also want a confirm password. Copy that. And just rename this confirm password. And then I want a role, which is going to be a select. Um, actually, let me back up here and grab a select field. And I'll get rid of these. This should be, change this to register. Okay, let me throw in that select. This is going to be role. Actually, did we even create a role for our users?
Yeah, we did. Okay. So a row is going to be linked to. Actually, it's not going to have a table. It's just going to be. It's it's pretty uh, pretty much just for show. Um, if you wanted to build on to this app, you could do certain kinds of roles, um, certain job seeker functions, and certain employer functions. But that's beyond the scope of this vi of this um, project. But I just figured I'd throw it in anyway. So it's going to be a select now. We've been plugging in arrays to our options. This is going to be just a, a static option. So I'm just going to say array. And then we want our fields. So we'll have job seeker, job seeker. And let's see, we want employer. say select user type and that looks good okay let's see if that shows up all right so there's our registration form now we need to catch it so we'll go back to our controller in the register function we'll test for post this uh, if this request is post, we're going to say this user create. Oh. Yeah, this user create. Okay, and then we'll say if this user save okay just like with the jobs and we're going to pass in this request data so if it go if it saves then we're going to set a message and redirect and I'm just going to paste that in here okay so we'll set our flash message and then redirect to now what we're doing here is we're redirecting to a whole new controller we want to go back to the jobs controller to the home page so in the array we're going to include this controller jobs and then the action index all right and if it doesn't save for some reason we'll just set a new message there as well all right so we'll save that now this would be fine just to add a user to the database um, but we're going to be using authentication so we don't want for one thing to store um, passwords in plain text we want them to be hashed um, and we just want to implement the authentication uh, that comes with cake PHP and if you go to I don't know just search cake PHP authentication okay so you can read all about it here it's actually a what's called a component okay it's the auth component and I'm not going to go deep into this uh, there are different types we're going to use the basic I believe or simple and you need to um, you need to implement it into your model. So we're going to create a user's model. Uh, let me just see. And we need to actually include some code in our in our um, app controller, which is the base controller. But there's a really good example. Um, where is it? There's a blog um, tutorial right here. I want to find where the authentication area is. Editing posts. Oh, well, maybe they don't have it. I could have swore. Right here, simple authentication. 
So to use it, uh, again, we're going with naming convention over configuration. So your table, your users table should have a username, password, role, um, which we have. And then here in the model um, is where we can do some validation. So you want to check the username, make sure it's required, password, things like that. Then here in the users controller, they're using add as register, okay? So same thing, right? And you can see it says this user create. This is what we did already. We have this exact method. Um, and then here in the app controller is where we want to specify our login and logout redirects. Um, and then this before filter function. This is where we can say which, uh, which actions are allowed without logging in because by default when you use the authentication um, it's going to lock you out of, of I think everything really um, until you put it in here we'll say oh well index can be viewed without logging in and so can view and there's ways so you can uh, also can also use which controllers um, that you want to be able to have public access to as well alright so this is basically the kind of code we'll put in our model. You want to define up here um, simple password hasher, and that'll automatically hash your passwords. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do our validation. Now, there's quite a bit of code here, um, so I'm going to just paste it in. All right, so uh, first we need to create our user model. So we'll go to model, new file. You want to make sure that it's singular. So user.php and then class user extends app model. Okay, and I'm going to just paste this in. These are validations, okay? So you basically just need to define a, a single variable to an array, and then each field you want to use. So first name, I'm going to set to an array of, of rules, okay? So my array has two rules for this field, alphanumeric, okay? So it needs to be letters and numbers only and it can't be empty, not empty. And you can find these in the documentation of Cake PHP. So we define the rule if it's required and also a message. Okay. Last name is going to have the same rules, alphanumeric, not empty. Email is going to have an email rule which is going to just check the format of the email and not empty. Password will be not empty. Confirm password is going to have not empty and also it's going to have a custom uh, validation rule which is going to be called identical field values now we have to create this uh, this method in our model okay so I'm going to do that down here and I'm basically just going to paste this in okay so it's called identical field values it should be the same exact title that you have here um, it's going to take in a field, a, a blank array, and then a compare, a compare field. And we're going to say for each field as key value, v1 equals value, v2 equals the field um, that you're actually comparing. And basically we're just going to say if v1 is not equal to v2, return false. If it is, then we're going to return true. So it's just going to make sure that the two values match. All right, so we passed in the name and then the, the field that we want to match because we want to match this to the password field. So let's see if that works. Okay, register. If I try to submit, you can see it says, please fill out this field. If I fill just that out, okay, it'll keep going through all of our required fields. Now I want to be able to register and have the passwords hashed. So in that model, um, I'm going to go above the class declaration 
and paste this in. So we're going to use this app uses and just define app model and then simple password hasher, uh, which is going to be uh, it's going to come from the authentic uh, the authentication component. Okay, so you have to have this here, uh, and then I'm going to paste in a function inside of the class. Actually, we forgot to do our name, so we're going to say public name is equal to user. Okay, and then I'm going to paste this in. Before save, basically, this is going to allow us to hash our password. It's going to create a new simple password hasher object. And then we can throw in what field we want to hash, which is going to be password. So let me just see. Home. I think we just need to define in our app, in our app controller controller app controller and go in here and paste this in okay so we're going to define our authentication component okay uh, here we can set the login redirect it's going to go to the jobs index logout it's going to go to the same thing okay and then we have a function called before filter where we can add which pages the the uh, guest user so someone that's not logged in can view and I'm just going to take these away for now and just have index and now you can see that if we go to browse it's sending us to the users controller to the login which we don't have yet so that's how it's it's blocking access see we're not logged in so it's not letting us in now if we want to add browse to this uh, before filter you can say browse now if we go to browse it lets us in okay so pretty pretty easy for a, a good amount of functionality so let's try to add a user and then that should be all that should be good for this um, register we want to throw that in as well So we'll say Brad. Username Brad password three four five six. Okay, role job seeker. You are now registered, so let's make sure users. There we are, Travis C. E. Brad. And you can see that it's hashed the password. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, so now um, what we need to do is just implement the login, which we will do in the next video.